So imagine waking up in the morning and being able to see your alarm clock clearly. No glasses, no contacts, just crisp, sharp vision. That's the promise of LASIK eye surgery. And for millions of people, it's been a life-changing procedure. But how exactly does it work? Is it really as safe and effective as they say? And what's actually happening to your eyes during the process? Let's break it down in simple terms, step by step. Right here on History of Simple Things. LASIK stands for Laser Assisted In Situ Keratomaliasis. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but all it really means is using a laser to reshape the cornea, the clear front part of the eye, so that light entering the eye is properly focused onto the retina. Think of the cornea like a camera lens. If the lens is the wrong shape, the image turns out blurry. Same with your eye. If your cornea is too steep, too flat, or uneven, it bends light the wrong way. That's what causes nearsightedness, farsightedness, or astigmatism. LASIK corrects that by reshaping the cornea with incredible precision. Before anyone can even think about getting LASIK, they have to go through a thorough eye exam. This isn't your regular, which is better, one or two kind of test. Doctors use advanced imaging and measurements to map the surface of your eye in crazy detail. They look at your corneal thickness, your pupil size, how your eye focuses, the curvature of your cornea, everything. Not everyone qualifies for LASIK. If your corneas are too thin, your prescription is too strong, or your eyes are still changing, it might not be safe. But if everything checks out, you're good to go. Okay, so let's say you're a good candidate and the big day arrives. First of all, LASIK is done on an outpatient basis. That means no hospital stay. You walk in, get the procedure, and go home the same day. You'll be awake the whole time, but don't worry. Your eyes will be numbed with special drops, and you might be given a mild sedative to help you relax. There's no pain, just a little pressure, and maybe some weird lights or sensations. The first step in the actual surgery is making a tiny flap in the cornea. This flap acts like a door that the surgeon can lift to access the inner layers of the cornea underneath. There are two ways to make this flap, using a microkeratome, which is a precise blade, or a femtosecond laser, which is even more accurate. Most modern LASIK procedures use the laser method. It's safer and more customizable. Once the flap is made, the surgeon gently folds it back. Now, the inner cornea, called the stroma, is exposed and ready for reshaping. Here's where the magic happens. A cool ultraviolet laser called an excimer laser is used to reshape the cornea. And when we say cool, we mean both literally and figuratively. This laser doesn't burn or cut, it vaporizes microscopic amounts of tissue with extreme precision. We're talking about removing layers thinner than a human hair, guided by computer models based on your unique eye shape. For nearsightedness, the cornea is flattened. For farsightedness, it's steepened. For astigmatism, the laser smooths out irregularities. The whole process usually takes less than a minute per eye. And here's the wild part. The laser follows your eye in real time. If you move your eye even slightly, the system tracks it and adjusts instantly. So no, you're not going to mess things up by blinking or twitching. Once the reshaping is done, the flap that was created earlier is carefully laid back into place. It sticks naturally without any stitches or glue because the corneal tissue bonds on its own very quickly. That's it. The surgery is over. The whole thing usually takes about 15 minutes total. Yes, for both eyes. It's that fast. After the procedure, most people notice an improvement in their vision almost immediately, though it can take a day or two for things to fully clear up. 
Your doctor will give you eye drops to prevent infection and reduce inflammation. You'll also be told to rest your eyes and avoid rubbing them. Protective shields may be used during sleep for the first few nights. The healing process is pretty quick. Most people are back to work or daily life within a day or two. But your vision might still fluctuate slightly for a few weeks as your eyes adjust. One of the biggest questions people ask is, is it safe? The answer is yes, for the right candidates. LASIK has been around for over two decades and has a very high success rate. According to the American Refractive Surgery Council, more than 96% of patients are satisfied with their results. Many achieve 2020s vision or better. That said, like any surgery, it's not without risks. Some people experience dry eyes, glare, or halos around lights, especially at night. These usually improve over time, but in rare cases, they can persist. There's also a very small risk of infection or complications with the flap, which is why proper aftercare and choosing a reputable surgeon is so important. Here's some good news. For most people, the results of LASIK are permanent. Your cornea doesn't grow back or revert to its old shape. However, your eyes will still age. Around your 40s or 50s, you may still need reading glasses due to a condition called presbyopia, which happens to everyone, LASIK or not. So while LASIK doesn't stop aging, it can eliminate the need for glasses or contacts for a good portion of your life. As much as LASIK sounds like a miracle, it's not for everyone. People with autoimmune disorders, unstable vision, chronic dry eye, or certain corneal conditions like keratoconus might not be good candidates. Pregnant women are usually advised to wait, since hormones can temporarily affect vision. And if you're under 18, your eyes are probably still changing. So you'll need to wait until your prescription has been stable for at least a year. So there you have it. LASIK eye surgery is a quick, relatively painless and highly effective way to correct vision by reshaping the cornea with laser precision. It's helped millions ditch their glasses and contacts and gain a whole new perspective, literally. But like any medical procedure, it's not a decision to take lightly. Make sure to get a full eye exam, weigh the pros and cons, and talk to a qualified ophthalmologist to see if it's right for you. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.